Basically, for top and bottom, I averaged it out to about $85. Um, I really, I really don't have anything to complain about these bikinis. You can mix and match them with literally anything. I, I really love the bottoms, and I really love the tie-dye bottoms, and I literally wear them as often as possible. Now, my next bikini uh, is the famed triangle bikini. Yes, I bought into this huge craze. I wanted to see what it was about. I, like, liked them for some reason, and I bought one. And as you can see, um, I, d the coverage doesn't even bother me that much if the material was breathable. It's made from neoprene, I think that's how you pronounce it. Completely non-breathable. The top is fine because, you know, I, I don't see a problem with it at all. It just, it really is like secure. It's really comfortable. But the bottoms, if it's a hot day, you will suffocate. I wouldn't suggest buying these bottoms, also the coverage is not really for me, it kind of pushes my fat out, it just makes me look not the way I want to. Um, also, I heard that they did make a smaller fit bottom, a cheeky bottom, but I'm not too sure how that is, so I'm not really going to comment on that, but I know for a fact that if you buy the old bottoms, I feel like most, a lot of their models are very skinny and are very petite on the bottom. I feel like that looks good on them, but on me, it does not look good. And I, I mean, if you like the look, then by all means buy it. But if you don't like the look that I suggest, you don't. Up next is another famed company called Midori Bikinis. This has a lot of hype to it. And so I obviously, like it was like a year ago, I gave into it and I bought myself a pair of their bottoms. Do I regret it? Oh, yes, I do. The reason why I regret it is because I, in this video, have to wear them front side backwards just because the fit is that bad and because I have to wear it front side backwards, it doesn't doesn't feel right. I mean, even if I wore it the right way that you're supposed to, it shows way too much. I'm completely uncomfortable. The bottoms are made from the same material as these bottoms, so I feel the same exact way. I don't feel that much like as if it's covering anything. I can't feel them and I don't like that. I want to make sure that my bottoms are on me and they're covering what they need to cover. Bottoms usually range from $54, but since I am considering both top and bottom, then that equals out to $108. Um, there are plenty of bikinis out there that are way less, so I wouldn't suggest them. I don't like the material they're made out of at all. It's not really, you can't control the material. It just kind of just flops wherever. So I would personally suggest saving your money and spending it on something else. As you guys probably saw in my bio, I am a boutine LA babe. And with that came a care package and I got a bunch of bikinis from them. I honestly... As much as I've been talking about like making sure that bikinis stay on you and talking about like security and everything like that, their bikinis have it. And I'm not saying that because I'm a boutique LA babe, I'd honestly tell you guys the truth. I couldn't care less, you know, I wouldn't lie about it. But here's bikini here. Um, the bottoms that I'm wearing probably are their bottoms with the least amount of coverage, so you have to make sure that you're comfortable with that. But with that like little amount of coverage, it is very tight around your around your body and not so that it's not comfortable but it is just it like it's tight enough for you to feel that it's there and for you to feel if it moves out of place which for me it has never done that so I'm pretty happy about that um now the top with the white outline or without the white outline and basically their their tops kind of fit like a push-up bra but without any padding it's like amazing like they make like your girls look so nice I love it and for a top and bottom you'd usually expect to pay $115 but since a lot of their stuff is on sale right now on their website which I like when I was looking it up I noticed it, it cost about $75 the next piece I'm going to show you from Boutine is their one piece it probably has a lot more coverage than you'd usually expect from Boutine but it still is very cheeky because it is a Boutine LA brand. Um, this bikini really sits, honestly, like I feel like you can do literally anything in it. You can wear it as a bodysuit, you can go surfing in it, you can do gymnastics in it, it won't move. And that's why I really like it. And the one piece is $59. The second to last bikini is my Coolborn bikini. It is also a very famed brand. I also was gifted this bikini. And to be completely honest, the top doesn't fit me at all the bottoms fit me fine after i stretched them out a little bit side notes here is that i haven't went swimming in this baby because 
I'm pretty sure you'd see through the top and the bottoms. So I'm kind of staying away with, from water with that one. The bikini is out of stock and out of season, so I'm sure it will come back in. Maybe sometime later, I'm not really sure. But it is $144. The final bikini, the most expensive bikini I've ever owned in my life, was also gifted to me. And I had no idea how much it cost until I looked it up for this video. This bikini from Tori Praver costs, you ready for this? $220. $110 from the bottom, $110 for the top. So this bikini, it is incredibly made it is the pattern is really cute the coverage is perfect for the top and the bottom um i i crossed it on my neck because i think it looked cuter that way would i suggest you to buy this no the it's too expensive it's really it's really 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 expensive it's very hard to match up with other bikini tops and bottoms so i would suggest buying if you are going to buy an expensive bikini buy an expensive bikini that you can mix and match and kind of just wear with anything. So with that said, I am done with my video. I am done with my very first bikini haul. Thank you so much for watching. Um, it was very interesting to make because a lot of these bikinis I haven't worn in a while and I just had to let you guys know what to buy and what to avoid. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!